What's your name, please, again? Andrew Hill. No, no, what rank are you? I don't have a rank. What are you assigned? I don't know the measurement. I just know that uh, the Foreign Legion said I could help um, when I crossed the border. I was helping out the border for a bit. And, um, they said if I wanted to help more, I can help further in country if I went with them. Uh, have you been in any other countries before in any uh, active? Sorry, say that again. Have I been in any other countries? Do you have a wife? I have an ex wife. Ex -wife. Your parents, do they know that you're here? My dad is dead. My dad died on uh, New Year's Eve this year. What about your mother? I don't have a relationship with my mother, nothing like that. Is there anybody else who can care about you? My children. I have four children. And I do have a partner that I'm dating now. Uh, did you have any weapon assigned to you? Yes. Um, I was carrying a CZ, a CZ for personal protection. How close was you in your uh, group? There was uh, seven of us in my group, but uh, two of them I didn't know who they was. How was the communication with you, between you, your group, and uh, the Ukrainians organized? Who was uh, giving you orders or something? Uh, I, I, I wasn't involved in that. Um, it was someone else that was involved in that. But the information we get is very minimal. We don't really get told very much at all, if anything. What city are you from? What province? Plymouth. Hmm? Plymouth. Uh, what did you cross the border? Remember what the area is called. It's south of uh, Res Resvo, 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 in Haven. Uh, uh, after crossing the border, where were you taken? I uh, stayed on the border for a little bit, helping refugees there. And then um, someone said to me that I can help further in, like in, in Ukraine. How did they transport you here? By bus. Where did you get the information about this uh, Shazhuf uh, where you were concentrated before being transported to Ukraine? Uh, I flew to there on my own and down to the border to help by myself. Uh, and then know. when I was at the border, that's when someone approached me and said so I can help further in and in Ukraine. How much did they pay you? They didn't pay me. No, they said... They haven't paid me nothing, no, but they said there was meant to be paying people, but no one's being paid. Did they have any documents with you? I had my passport. Passport took. I don't know. And where is it now? I don't know. Did you lost it? Or no, it's it where... It's been taken from you. It's where um, your soldiers... It's not just the government. Roughly in that area there. Hmm? Am I safe? Yes, you're safe, absolutely. How would this work for you then? Like the whole week for how long or is there any other being able to get back home to England or anything like that? No. I absolutely cannot say right now how long this is it gonna take, but you can be uh, sure that nothing dangerous to your life. What about am I gonna be able to get to a hospital or something? Yes, it will be taken care of. Is it a bullet shot or uh, what trauma is it? Who's taking care of your blood shot? <coughs> and who's your soldiers? No. What would you like to say to, uh, to the other Englishmen who decide to go to Ukraine? Well, they need to really think about it. Whether this doesn't involve us.